Hi guys, today I want to discuss Gaskell 2.2 question. So we have one mole of monoatomic ideal gas at initial state, temperature and pressure. So we have three processes. So we have to find heat and work. So first process is constant pressure, then constant volume and then it's an arbitrary path. So we have the first state pressure and temperatures this. For an ideal gas, we know PV equals to NRT, N equals to number of moles, that is 1 here, and the monoatomic gas means it's a noble gas like neon, argon, helium, xenon, etc. Diatomic ideal gas means we should have something like nitrogen and oxygen which are which have high bond energy hence they are very stable structures so they behave as ideal gases now if you take a monoatomic gas it goes three dimensionally in xyz directions so it has a linear translational movement so now we define the degrees of freedom for monoatomic gas it's 3 xyz moment linearly now if you take a diatomic gas like nitrogen and if you take xyz we have three translation moments and then along the y and Z we have rotations if we rotate in X we don't get any rotations as such so we have three translational plus two rotations of freedom so the degree of freedom is 5 for diatomic ideal gas so the gamma is defined as 1 plus 2 by degree of freedom for monoatomic ideal gas gamma is nothing but 1 plus 2 by F that is by 3 also we know cp minus cb equals to r and cp by cb is gamma so we have cp is 5 by 3 times gamma cv for monoatomic gas and cv equals to 3 by 2 times r now cp is nothing but cp plus r cv plus r which is 2.5 r so we will go ahead with this information So we will use ideal gas equation. So here we take R as 0.082 liter atmosphere Kelvin. So we'll get volume in liters. Now I will draw the P versus V diagram. So in thermodynamics P versus V diagram helps us to get work done from the graph itself so the area under the P versus V will give the work done so the initial state has 1 atmosphere and 22.4 liters and the final state has 2 atmospheres and 44.8 liters and this is a random path so there are 3 processes A, B and C processes which goes from first state to second state to third state so for the second process, we have volume V2 is 44.8 pressure and temperature we have to measure it using ideal gas equation which gives 446 Kelvin. Now for the C process, we need to find the volume. We know the volume, pressure and temperature is 1092 Kelvin. So now we will calculate the work done which is nothing but integral PdV. So which is P V3 minus V2 minus V1. So we will get liter atmospheres. So with that, to that we multiply the gas constants in joules 
by gas constants in liter atmospheres and we will get the result in joules. So now we have delta u equals to ncv delta t. So cv is nothing but 3 by 2 times r which I have derived before. Now we will use that and get the answer. First law of thermodynamics states that delta u, the change in internal energy equals to q minus w. So we know q. We won't have to know q. So we will use delta u and w to find the q heat transferred. For the second to third state, We have volume is constant, so work done is zero. So from first law of thermodynamics, we have delta u equals to q. We will use the same relation ncv delta t, where cv is 3 by 2 times r. And after substituting the values, we get 6809 joules. And for the final step, final process c, we do integral PDV. So P has a complex relation 6.643 into 10 power minus 4 V minus P power minus 2 plus 0.667 So we will integrate this So after substituting the volume values, we get in liter atmospheres which we convert to joules using the gas constant. In the same way, we find delta U, NCV delta T. After this, we get the joules. Now, we obtain from the first law of thermodynamics delta U is nothing but 3 by Q plus W. So, the Q is obtained. Now, we get the total work done by adding all the three work done in the similar fashion the total heat transferred is negative 1008 joules and the delta u is zero since internal energy is a state property means when you go from initial state to the initial state, you get the change as zero. So you can look at in the P versus P diagram. So we have one, two, three st states. So you go from first state to the last state. So the delta U is zero. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please do comment below and it will help me to do better content.